Welcome back to Anderson Acres. We're inside again today, and today we're going to set our duck eggs in the incubator. Get ready to have ducklings in about a month. So, you have your duck eggs that you've been collecting probably for about a week, and now we're going to set them in the incubator. So they should have been stored pointy side down while you were waiting to put them in the incubator. However, when you incubate, duck eggs need to be on their side, if at all possible. Okay, so we are going to put our duck eggs on their side. That is the best way to have waterfowl hatch, even if they're shipped. Duck eggs really are not super fans of being incubated upright. So the best way to incubate your duck eggs is to incubate them nice and upright. Okay? So, not upright. Huh. Don't do it upright. We want them nice and flat. I misspoke there. We want them flat. So, we're definitely going to keep our eggs flat and distribute them fairly evenly around your incubator. It doesn't matter what style incubator you're using. And just to be clear, they will hatch if they're in an incubator that keeps them upright. Your hatch rate's just a little better if you use one of these incubators where they can lie down on their side. So, load your eggs into your incubator. Now, it is important to remember that eggs need to be turned. So, you want an automatic turner or you're going to be turning by hand. If you are turning by hand, you are probably going to be turning three to five times a day. And if you're turning by hand, rotate the egg all the way over. You might want to mark an X on one side and an O on the other so that you know which eggs you've turned and which eggs you haven't. I'm using an automatic turner that will roll and turn these eggs for me, which is the plan. I don't like hand turning, but hand turn if you have to, duck eggs are worth it. So load your duck eggs into your incubator. Use a quality incubator. Put your lid on and you want to plug it in and get it started. So for temperature, your temperature is going to remain the same. You're going to want to keep your temperature 37.5 Celsius or 99.5 Fahrenheit for the entirety of incubation. That's fairly standard for most types of eggs. So you're going to stay at that temperature. Humidity, you need to pay attention. Like we mentioned in the last video, duck eggs like humidity a lot. So what we're going to do is make sure the humidity in this incubator is 50%, maybe 55%. If you usually dry hatch, you might want to rethink that with duck eggs, depending on where you live. I really don't have to add a lot of water. We are so humid in between two giant lakes. It's going to stay around 50% humidity in my incubator without me doing anything. But we absolutely want to make sure we maintain that. Put a hygrometer in there, a calibrated one. I will pop one in before I turn the incubator on but you wanna pop a calibrated hygrometer in there, keep track of that humidity. You do not want that humidity getting low. Duck eggs absolutely require fantastic humidity. Keep that humidity around 50%. Now, duck eggs take 28 days to hatch. <laughs> so we are going to have to come back periodically and I will film these steps for candling. I only candle duck eggs once, around midway between day 14 and day 20 of incubation just to make sure I don't have any eggs going rotten. I only candle once before lockdown. So we will come back, we will film candling our duck eggs, we will film locking down our duck eggs, and then we will pay attention as our duck eggs hatch because ducklings are completely adorable. And once they're hatched, we will then talk about brooding. But until then, we have our duck eggs ready to go. We are going to plug in our incubator and we are going to let them just do their thing. Monitor temp and humidity at least twice a day. Remember, 99.5 Fahrenheit or 37.5 Celsius and a humidity of right around 50%. Check twice a day to make sure, even if you have a really good incubator. I'm using Brinsea incubators and they are absolutely fantastic. However, because we love ducklings and we don't want to lose our ducklings, we need to make absolutely sure that we are on track with our temps and humidity. So even though I'm using quality incubators that have never let me down, I am still going to check twice a day to make sure our humidity is proper and our temp hasn't fluctuated. 
Don't want to get too high. Don't want to get too low. A, another note, if your incubator has a cool setting, so you can set it to cool down a few times a day, absolutely use that with your duck eggs. It doesn't make a difference for things like uh, turkeys or chickens or quail. The cooling really has no effect. It doesn't do anything bad, but it doesn't do anything good either. The cooling setting for ducks and geese actually does help them. It's kind of like mama getting them wet. So if you want to uh, stop your incubator for about 15 minutes twice a day, lift up that lid, give them a spritz of water, kind of mimic mama coming back and uh, getting the eggs wet because she came back from the pond. So you can do that. It will help a little bit. And if you have a cooling function on your incubator, absolutely use it for hatching waterfowl. It really does make a little bit of difference. And when it comes to adorable little ducklings, a little bit of a difference is all we really want. We just want to maximize our chances of having these little babies hatch because they're freaking adorable. So with that said, we are now going to stop filming and go over and turn on our incubator and then we will come back in a couple of weeks, almost three weeks probably, because I don't candle off and I don't like messing with them, and we will check and see how they are developing. At this point, I have no idea if any of these are going to develop at all. So we will definitely come back in a couple of weeks and see how they're doing. Until then, we are going to leave them alone. We're going to make sure they're turning, their temperature's correct, their humidity is correct. But otherwise, we're not going to mess with them. We're not going to pull them out of there and check them every couple of days. We're just going to ignore them. That's the best practice when hatching eggs. Be as hands-off as you personally can. So we are going to put them away, let the incubator do its job, and basically ignore them for two to three weeks. So that is about it for us here today at Anderson Acres. Good luck hatching your duck eggs. We'll come back and candle them. And because of the way I'm filming these videos, that video will be posted next week. We'll see you tomorrow.